Hello again. I'm going to take some videos now. I haven't done this in a while and I've learned some new techniques on taking better pictures and everything. So I'm hoping this might work a little better. You guys might get to see hopefully some improvements. You'll have to let me know what you think. Uh, so I got yesterday, I got my wonderful box of goodies from Melinda at Scraps of Elegance and Darkness. And I got both my uh, Elegance kit and my Darkness kit. So I thought I would show everybody what I got. Uh, I always subscribe to the main kit and the creativity kit, and then sometimes I get the add-ons. Uh, it depends on how much money I have. <laughs> I try not to do it every month because that would be a little expensive, but it's well worth it. Well, well worth it. Especially when you live way up in the, the North Pole, like uh, Lisa always tells me I live, because uh, I live way up in the boonies and I don't have my own scrapbook store, so my closest scrapbook stores are like nine hours away, so this is a nice alternative to those. Uh, so the first is the uh, Scraps of Darkness. September kit, which is called Transitions. So, I'll show everybody. This is the main kit that I got. So, uh, it came with some wonderful Prima flowers and some lovely green ribbon. And then, uh, actually, really cool Prima Ephemera kit, uh, Ephemera pack, which I really love these things. They're so awesome because they have all kinds of neat little things in them. This one, like, I don't know if you can tell, quite tell, but it's got twine and little dealy bobs and, and, extra things to just add some neat dimensions and this stuff feels really good when I do altered art stuff because I love putting this kind of stuff on it. And then there were some Petaloo, ah, Petaloo Premier uh, butterflies, which I always love butterflies. And then I got some chipboard pieces, uh, leaves and such like things, which are really easy to paint. Then in the main kit I also got some stickles. Uh, what color is this one? can't tell what color it is. Oh, seafoam. Seafoam green. So this is seafoam green stickles, which are cool. And some oh, Lindy Stamp Gang embossing powder. I actually just started using this again. And I'm not sure if I have this color already. I don't think I do. Or what's this one? Oh, Cleopatra's Copper. These are really awesome. They are so, so pretty. So vibrant. Love using these things. And then the paper that came with this kit. I've got an alphabet sticker sheet. And then there is some really awesome paper. I'm not sure if you can see it all through the way I've got my stuff set up, but uh, there you go. There's some the paper's called Mox, Fanciful Flowers, Moxie. Oh, lots of beautiful fall colors. Beautiful fall colors. I actually have some great pictures I took with the girls. These will be really cool because we took them when the leaves were starting to change. And, and <laughs> yeah, now that's on the video. Thanks, love. <laughs> That's okay, my husband apparently is contributing to the video, just letting me know he's having a bath. Uh, he went to roller derby tonight, so yeah, he should have a bath. He's a little stanky. Uh, <laughs> but I love him, gotta love him. Especially when he's so, so awfully accommodating. Especially this next couple months when I'm going to be going scrapbooking all over the planet. Um, oh, this is some really pretty paper. I think another friend of mine was using this on something else. So, lots of flowers. I should probably make something for France with this, because she loves butterflies and flowers. I love the chalkboard look of this stuff. It's really pretty. And I've got lots of chalkboard paint from other kits, so... Oh, I cannot wait to use this stuff. Then, as I said, I always get the creativity add-on. That's okay. Like, my husband is just apologizing now for interrupting my video, but I told him that's okay. Now, <laughs> of course, I won't get him to come say hi. <laughs> that's okay. Uh, like I said, I always get the creativity add-on, and this month's creativity add-on for Darkness was so cool. It had so many neat, neat things, and especially with me getting into all my mixed, multimedia, mixed media art stuff, which I love. This is adding to my rapidly growing collection or my hoarding, I guess you could call it. These are called Deco Mache Decoupage Papers. They are by uh, Santoro London, and the, it's called the, I think it's called the Mirabelle line. I have <laughs> a whole whack of this stuff. As you can see, this whole box is all full of the Mirabelle papers. I have gotten them from several of my friends at scrapbook stores. Uh, not sure you can tell, I've actually done a couple of uh, stuff with all of them. I love this stuff. It's so pretty. So, I, actually, and I almost wish that these decoupage papers had come about two days earlier because I used this paper line to make my block for one of the girls on the block swap. And if I had known, I probably would have done something slightly different and used this uh, 
this uh, deco mache decoupage papers. <laughs> but that's okay. I will just use them for something else. This mermaid one is one of my favorites. I actually did a I did a layout of myself, my from the National Scrapbook Day challenge, using this paper with the mermaid with the mermaid from the one paper pack. But this stuff is all so amazing, and I have a friend of mine who actually said that she knows the artist, so that's really cool too. Uh, so there's those. Then it came with these two little blocks, and like I said, that would have been kind of fun because it would have been kind of neat to use these blocks somehow in the challenge. But uh, I'm actually going to do something else with these. I might just make little mini blocks for myself similar to one of those ones I made for my friend uh, my friend in the swap but then I also got uh, crackle glaze which is really cool I can hardly wait to experiment with this stuff I love glazes and stuff they're so pretty and I love the crackly effect when you put it on things it makes you know makes things look old and antique and then I've got some more black gesso and yes I have a friend who always bugs me sometimes I say gesso and I know that's not right it's gesso so I gotta learn how to pronounce this properly. <laughs> and then some Inca Gold. I have actually got a couple of these and I haven't actually used them much yet and I'm really looking forward to playing with them because uh, one of the other lovely ladies who uh, is a friend of mine who lives where up in the booties with me but is also on uh, Scraps of Elegance and Darkness on the Facebook page and participates in the swaps. Uh, her name is Gina but she's under there as Parents Lafleur. Lafleur. She said that she actually had used the Inca Gold this is, oh, I love this color. Halloween, I've got some Halloween swaps to do, so this is going to be perfect for that. Um, she said that she used Inca Gold on one of her, uh, I think on her blocks, so I'm looking forward to that. And uh, then this is, ooh, L Lumiette, ooh, Hello Pink Gold, Light body, body Metallic Acrylic. Sorry, I had to get this up to my face to read it. <coughs> my eyesight is getting bad because I'm getting old. Uh... Oh, I won't even open this one quite yet. So, this is really, really cool. Love this stuff. Love, love, love. And last but certainly not least, oh, I got some antiquing cream. So I'll have to figure out what that one is. So that's all my prize goodies from my scraps of darkness kit. And then, because Melinda is so smart and so considerate in combining shipping for me that lives up in the North Pole. She also sent my October Pretty Things kit for Scraps of Elegance. So, here, and like I said, for that one, I also get the creativity, but I'll show that one afterwards. All right, so here's my main kit. All the pretty things in my main kit. So we got some stamps, and oh, I love these keys, keys and ribbons. I'm gonna be using some of the embossing powder with, with that stuff. Some more cheesecloth, which is actually really neat. I, I played with that on one of my designs, and I actually want to play with it again. I want to find some neat things to do with that. And some very pretty lace. Then we've got some bow bunny jewels. Some more Prima flowers. Love Prima. Prima are the bomb. Then we've got some chipboard from Blue Fern Studios. Uh, it gets a lot of that kind of stuff. So I really like these. They're so pretty. And then we've got Bow Bunny, which will be what? Bow Bunny rocks, too. I love Bow Bunny. The, uh, the Noteworthy, so, uh, and this is from the Madeline collection, I think. Yeah, the Madeline Noteworthy. All the birds. Definitely going to be making something, probably for Frost, for this. And then I got some more pretty paper, and like I said, this is the Madeline collection. I love, love, love Bow Bunny and their colors and the pastels. And pretty, pretty, pretty. You can never, ever, ever have too much Bow Bunny. Bow Bunny just rocks. Oh, I would love to just go and see them. Oh, wow, look at that one. That one's so pretty. Oh, I have to do something with that for Charles. Gotta figure out how to make her a birdhouse. Or something bird-like. I had one here that I thought I could use, but I couldn't figure out. So I think when I go to the city, I'm going to have to do that. But this is the one. I love this. I have no idea how I'm going to work this into anything. And I'm probably going to use this side of the paper. But I just had to show that. Like, look at that. <laughs> it says, my self-portrait on both of them. And, uh, yeah. I'm not quite sure what to do with that. But that's pretty funny. I think that is pretty hilarious. But, yeah. And then there's some. Oh, who is this? Marion Smith. Oh, and look. <laughs> Those are cute. Very cute. Very, very cute. And then, that's the main kit. And then, I, like I said, I got the 
creativity add-on, which for this was very funky as always. Oh, actually, I also got them some more wonderful Rene Bouquet flowers, or butterflies, I should say, and I'm pretty sure those were actually part of the, yeah, those are actually part of the main kit. They're not part of the add-on. So, as part of the add-on, I got a Finnebar stencil. Uh, and I'm still so, so choked that I didn't get to go to Finnebar when my friend in the city had her because I had already booked something else and could not get away. So, I actually don't have this Harlequin one. Um, I should do some friend of mine. Her nickname is Harlequin. Her, it's a roller derby name. So, I should uh, get that. Oh, and looks like my cat Boo Boo wants to be in on the video again, too. But uh, she doesn't have to. And, uh, yeah, so there's my Harlequin stencil, which I love using stencils. More Prima flowers, purple ones. Purple with news, a newsprint pattern. Oh, love those. And we got some, some pearls and some lace ribbons. Some more gesso. Can't even have too much gesso. A altered frame. Very pretty altered frame. And some more of that paint. And this one is actually called Light Violet. This one looks really, really pretty. I can't wait to use this one. I bet you if I put black gesso and then put some of this on top, that's going to be a really cool effect. Oh, wow. That is pretty. Pretty, pretty. So, that is my wonderful collection of goodies from the awesome Scraps of Elegance and Darkness. So, I cannot wait to play with this stuff. So, thanks for watching and maybe you guys can, somebody can give me some feedback on if my videos are getting better. Thanks. Night.